I'm Scott Allen Miller. It is the 20th of May, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Nicaragua. Today, I'm coming to you from high above Nicaragua Route 22, running from La Paz Centro to Porto Mumbo Tumbo and Leon Viejo. Right now, you can see the absolutely stunning view of the volcanoes in the background to the north of the highway. If you watch the show, you know that recently we were on Nicaragua 26, which looked south onto a bunch of volcanoes. These are the same volcanoes. This is the matching highway to the southeast. So we're gonna keep heading north-ish towards Porto Mumbo Tumbo and we're gonna catch up with all of you from there after the bump. it out to Porto Mumbo Tumbo. This is the port on Lago Managua or Lago Xolotlan that is basically in the same location that the original city of Leon was 500 years ago. That is now Leon Viejo and it is a archaeological site which we went and toured. That is very cool. That's one of the, if you have a car and you're spending a little bit of time in Nicaragua, one of the things you have to do is go see Leon Viejo. It is the major, the most important archaeological site in the country uh, and relatively close to Leon and right here at the port of Mumbo Tumbo, which has a malecon and uh, several beach bars. And uh, it's a pretty small place, very laid back, but it's got some serious volcano views. I hope you can see Mumbo Tumbo right there. It is a straight on shot to Mumbo Tumbo, which is, I believe, the most active and definitely the scariest of all volcanoes in the country. Uh, so this is a pretty, pretty important location. And it's uh, just outside La Paz Centro, like maybe at most a 30 minute drive, probably a 15 minute drive, not bad at all. Uh, and so this is um, an important place. If you have a car, very easy to get here uh, and, and you really could put in a good portion of a day. You probably would not want to try to get a hotel room here, but unlike La Paz Central proper, there are at least a hostel or two here, if nothing else. Uh, and there does seem to be, as I walk through the Melicon, uh, a archeological statue. Uh, and so coming down here and spending most of the day, but returning to a hotel somewhere, Leon, Nagarote, Managua, it's gonna make a lot more sense. Uh, this is just not an area to stay in, but it is a beautiful place to spend a day on the beach or an evening relaxing. There's several restaurants here, and notably there's Nicaraguan, Cuban, and Salvadoran all located in this tiny space. So you can get some, a little bit of variety uh, in this really small area. Uh, but this is pretty much how I pictured Porto Mumbo Tumbo. Actually, there's a few more restaurants than I was picturing, so not a not a bad scene. Pretty small place, um, certainly not an expensive destination or a place to write home about, but it is real Nicaraguan vacation spot. Let's let's just show this here. It's a cute little community worth checking out. All right, we're gonna go hang out on the beach, uh, probably get something to eat. We gotta explore Leon Viejo. When you come into Leon Viejo in Puerto Mambatumbo, it's actually in the village. You're not going to another location. It's just on the side of the village. As you approach it from a few streets, there's easy parking right on the street. You just pull over and there you are. There's actually this beautiful entrance. Now remember, this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it has this beautiful arch. You come in, you go to the right, and there's the booth where you pay to get in. It is $5 for foreigners, and it is uh, 50 Cordoba for locals. Uh, tenemos dos extranjeros y dos nacionales. Okay. And with the price of admission, you get a guide that takes you around not just the site, but also multiple museums. These are pretty small museums, but these are located right on site. Uh, they have a pre-Columbian museum. They have a, a colony museum uh, in these small buildings, and they take you from one to another and actually narrate a lot of this for you. Unlike the museum we were at the other day, this one does have everything also written in English. So while the guide may or may not speak English, um, if you're an English speaker and don't speak Spanish, there's still a lot at the site that you can pay attention to and read and, and really enjoy the site. This is very much a, a location, a, an event to go to that I highly recommend. It's the only thing like this in Nicaragua 
and it's the most important of its type in the region. Uh, and I think it's well worth a trip uh, to come and explore um, and, and see a little bit of the, the really deep history. There is a somewhat similar uh, archaeological site with the ruins of uh, Ciudad Panama, Panama Viejo, which is similar to Leon Viejo uh, in Panama City. It is much farther away from the city proper um, and is also really, really cool. So I, if you're going to be in Panama City, I recommend that as well. Uh, but this one, uh, much less explored because it's it's outside a much smaller city and far less known, but it sits right on the lake and Puerto Mambo Tumbo is of course a great place to stop and get lunch and maybe hang out by the beach. So combine the two uh, and you have a, a good educational and relaxing uh, vacation experience, something that, that that's pretty nice. Overall, the museums and the guide, everything is well done. The site, of course, it's an UNESCO World Heritage Site, so there's a lot of um, the resources because of that. However, it is uh, a pretty minor site. It was only discovered fairly recently, so not a lot of uh, work has been able to go into it. And through a number of storms, a lot of it has been destroyed. But it is really nice to walk around. Uh, and with a little bit of information, it can be pretty interesting. Now, I'm not going to be able to add a lot of history here. At some point in the future, we're going to do a lengthy video all about Leon Viejo and really dig into it and, and try to create a really awesome video detailing it. This was our first time ever being here for any of us. So uh, we were discovering it as we went, as I filmed. I didn't know what to expect. I couldn't have filming ready or anything of the sort. And it was late in the day, so I didn't have a lot of time to prep. So I'm going to read uh, actually the Wikipedia article on this because I just want to be accurate and provide you guys with some interesting backstory to what you're seeing. But before we get started, there's a little bit of art here and there. We did see some people performing uh, out on the grounds. Of course, some cultural events take place. Uh, they do have some things they've put up, such as this map of uh, what they believe the layout of the city is. Uh, and so this is, this is pretty cool. So from Wikipedia. Ruins of Leon Viejo is a World Heritage Site in Nicaragua. It was the original location of Leon. It is the present location of the town of Puerto Mambutambo in the municipality of La Paz Centro of the Departamento de Leon. It is administered by the Instituto Nicaraguense de Cultura, also known as the Nicaraguan Institute of Culture. Leon Viejo was founded on June 15, 1524 by the Spanish conquistador Francisco Hernández de Córdoba, who was decapitated at the town's Plaza Mayor or Main Square in 1526 by Governor Pedrerias de Villa, his lieutenant. Settled by Spanish colonists, Leon Viejo originally had a native population of about 15,000 and is located on the southwest banks of Lago de Xolitlan or Lago de Managua, Lake Xolitlan or Lake Managua, south of Volcano Mombodumbo. The area suffered frequent volcanic activity culminating in the earthquakes of 1594 and 1610. The city was not destroyed by the 1610 quake, however, due to the damage caused to the infrastructure and the seismic activity, the settlers held a referendum and decided to relocate the city to its present location about 30 kilometers to the west. Nevertheless, the old city was gradually buried by the continuous expulsions of ash and volcanic stone coming from Momotumbo and by lake sediments. The ruins of Leon Viejo were discovered in 1967 and excavations begun the following year revealing that the city had a similar layout to other cities in America at that time, laid out on a grid system with a main square located at its center. Leon Viejo occupies an approximate area of 800 meters by 500 meters. Around the Plaza Mayor and the surrounding streets, 16 ruins have been partially restored. The city had three monasteries, La Merced, San Pedro, and San Francisco which remained active until October 1559. The ruins of La Merced and San Pedro have been identified, however they have been damaged by natural disasters over the years. In May 1982, tropical storm Aleta wasted the walls of the city. In October 1988, Hurricane Joan caused new damages to the ruins. In October 1998, Hurricane Mitch affected an estimated 40% of the site, damaging several houses, La Merced Convent, and La Fortaleza. Leon Viejo is the only 16th century colonial city in America that has never suffered city planning alterations during its history. This fact was the main argument in the request to the UNESCO when it was declared a World Heritage Site in 2000. All right, that's the entry from Wikipedia, and I think it gives just a little bit of backstory to what you're seeing 
in uh, all of these videos and walking around the site. Uh, it, it is nicely done. There's not a lot to see because there is a lot of damage and the archaeological excavations are relatively recent. So there's a lot that hasn't been done, a lot of things that haven't been found. Uh, and it was a small site. 800 by 500 meters is not very big. And so there's, there's a limited amount of space to work with. Towards the end of the guided tour, they took us up to the Fortaleza, which is the fortress that overlooked the city. It was a nice walk through the woods, a little bit of a climb. And when we got up to the top, of course, there was a little bit more from the tour guide. But this point gave us amazing views. Luckily, we were there just before sunset. So we got to see the sun coming down low over the, the forest, which was really beautiful. But also the view of the sun setting uh, light against... Uh, volcano Mombotumbo, which is very prominent at the site. Certainly, when this site was built, uh, the, the volcano was absolutely dominant in everything that they would see and do. And beautiful views from up there, well worth going, if only to have a chance to see uh, the, the volcano from that vantage point. Of course, down at Porto Mombotumbo, you can see it from the water's edge, and that's a, those are the two really awesome spots to view it from there. You can drive much closer if you choose to go out and go for a drive towards the volcano. Uh, it's also worth noting that at the base of the volcano today, there currently is a geothermal power production facility. I was unable to see it from any of the points that we were at on this trip, but I am aware that it is there and in the direction that we were looking. So in theory, on a really clear day, you may be able to see it. For us, it was kind of a hazy day. We are at the beginning of the rainy season and the clouds and haze are starting to move in a little bit, but we're not quite getting the heavy rains yet to clear it all out. So we had a lot of humidity in the air making it a little bit more difficult to film long distance. But it did keep the direct sun off of us most of the time, but it was very humid, so we were extremely hot. I hope to come back at some point when it's dry and bright and get a long day and be able to do a lot of filming and, and pull a lot of information that we can put together kind of a complete guide to the site uh, to have uh, for you guys as well. So many of you will never have a chance to obviously come visit Leon Viejo or Nicaragua in general uh, and having a video that, that takes you through all of that I think would be really fun and interesting, fun for us to do and interesting for all of you. Uh, so thanks for coming out and joining us today for this uh, trip to Porto Mambo Tumbo uh, and to Leon Viejo. I hope you enjoyed the tour uh, and the video work. I tried to do a couple different things using the different cameras today. I had tripods and stuff with me and a full crew. Uh, so we were a bit just different in everything that we were doing today. But it, it was a beautiful day and we really uh, enjoyed getting to go out there. If you'd like to support the channel, look up top. I'm going to put a link just... Hit me up at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. That helps pay for uh, all the events we do and the gas to go travel places and feeding everyone as we go out on these adventures and cameras and all that stuff. And if you're looking for information about how you can relocate to Nicaragua, whether you just need someone to talk to on the phone or you need a tour guide to take you around, whatever it is you need, uh, you can email us at info at relocatenicaragua.com. And as always, Get down in those comments. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you're interested in, what you hope we see, ideas for us to go do. We did get some ideas recently that we have done. They'll be coming up in videos soon. Some really cool stuff. And as always, share on social media. Tell your friends about the show. And I will see all of you tomorrow.